Hey everyone, welcome to your lower body chair assisted course warm up. We're gonna get started right now with one minute of a little bit of cardio and then we're gonna break it down into 30 seconds of a few movements before we get started. So what we're gonna do is start with standing jacks. So that is a movement that integrates arm and leg. If you need the chair assist, it's gonna be here the whole time. So if you need it, great. If you don't, move on. With the chair, we're gonna go same arm, same leg, and we're gonna alternate like so. If you don't need the chair, feel free to do the same way. And if you wanna really get advanced with it, we go opposite arm, opposite leg, and come out here kind of like jumping jack motion. So we'll get started here in three, two, one, go. So we're here for one minute. And we're just kind of opening up the body, making sure that we're ready for the course. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Thank you for being here. I have fun. Hopefully you do too. Good. As we move on throughout the minute too, feel free to just kind of extend that range of motion as you feel like your body can and just start really reaching with it. Good, that's halfway right there. We got 30 more seconds. So really focus on that reach and the tempo as well. I'm trying to keep the same rhythm going on both sides, making sure that we're not babying one side because of an injury or anything like that. 10 seconds. Keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one, good. We have a little bit of a breather here, 30 seconds. We're gonna go into standing marches. Now for this, I'll change to the side here. What's easiest just to clear your knees is your support on one side and then knees are just kind of coming up like so. Making sure we're putting our feet down. We're coming down the balls of our feet and then letting the heel come down naturally, not stamping down because that's too hard on the joints. If that isn't possible for you. You can give yourself a little bit of space and you can knee drive up towards the chair if you need both arms on there. Uh, that's perfectly okay as long as we keep moving, okay? So we're gonna get started in three, two, one, go. So we're just coming up. Also, if you're at a place that you don't need the chair with this here, feel free to let go. You can integrate your arms or you can choose to hang them, but for the sake of this, let's use the chair here. Halfway, keep going, good. Good, again, we wanna keep that steady rhythm. Three, two, one, good. 30 seconds to ourselves. Next up, we have knee drivers. Now, I'll switch sides, just show you guys what's up. Okay. So with knee drivers, it's coming from a movement like so, right? We've all seen these in the fitness videos, works on our balance, works on our core, glutes, the whole thing. So for this exercise, we can have our arms on one support and then just reach up, same arm, same leg, kind of like what we did with our jacks and we're coming down, meeting in the middle. So if you can have that range of motion, we're gonna tap our thigh, knee lightly in the middle of our body in the center line and then extend back out. If you need to adjust that for any reason, feel free. If, if you can't reach as high or if you can't reach as far back with your leg, just do what you can and make sure that movement is set. We're gonna do 30 seconds each side. So do what you can and we'll get through it. We're gonna start in three, two, one, go. Good. There's a jack, meet in the middle. If you want to have a slight pause in the middle to work on your balance, feel free. But this is just a warm up, so we're not winning any medals right now. Good. Halfway there. Nice job, 10 more seconds. Looks simple, but you feel it. Three, two, one, good. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Again, pick your moments when you need the support and when you don't. I'm gonna show you 
as many versions as I can, but if you don't need something or you want to try balancing on your own, go for it, and then at least the support is always there if and when you need it, okay? We're gonna go for 30 seconds on the opposite side. Remember, we're reaching, meeting up in the middle. In three, two, one, go. We're gonna try to find that rhythm like with everything else. Good. Again, if you're gonna pause, go ahead and pause in the middle and come on back. Don't wanna pause on the ground and we don't wanna wait forever. Let's get the body warm. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, 30 off. One more movement in our warm up, and that is just regular old squats. So you can do kind of the same way we're doing a side assist. If that feels most comfortable to you, go ahead and use one arm if you need both. Facing the chair, and you drop down. What we want to do is that we're make sure that we're doing is using our glutes and our quad. Really, it's the whole leg, but we don't want to come up on our toes at all doing the squats and put too much pressure on our joints. We want to do as best we can to sink our hips down, butt back, and sit into our own frame, come back up. That's what we want. So I'll show you, I'll actually switch halfway, but I'll show you the front version, then I'll switch to the side. If you guys, for whatever reason, need one hand, two hand, or you wanna go with no hands, great. Uh, you choose, it's your workout. We're gonna start in three, two, one, go. So. There you go, sink down. Have my hand on the assist here. We don't have to worry about you know, going all the way down to the floor or anything like that. We're just trying to warm up our bodies in a nice and efficient way. So if you have no, want no hands, you can choose whatever you want to do. And I'll show you that side as well. So both hand assist. Good, in three, two, one, good. That is your warm up complete, so let's get into the workout. Welcome to day one of your chair assisted lower body workout. All you'll need is a chair, a set of dumbbells, water and a towel if need be, and some hard work. So we can get right into it. Uh, we have two rounds of four exercises. So the second part is gonna be just like little variations to try to get you working that much harder. But I'll run you through everything within the breaks um, so we're going to start with a slow tempo squat and then I'll detail the rest for you as we go. With the squat, kind of like we do in our warm up, you can choose to face forward if you need two hands of assist. We're going to go down, make sure we're sitting our butt back, really using our legs and power up. If you only need one hand of assist, pick a side, we'll have the opportunity to do both. So we're gonna sink down with one hand, and then if you are confident with your squats, you don't need anything, kick the support away and go for your squats, okay? We're gonna do 30 seconds. We're gonna start in three, two, one, go. Good. So let's make sure that we're sitting back and not just kind of going straight down and putting undue stress on ourselves, right? We wanna sit back. Get to that comfortable depth position, and then come back up. Nice and slow. So there's no count to these, but we're just doing slower squats so that the leg really has to work. Five seconds. Three, two, one, good. We have 30 seconds break. Our next movement is dumbbell swings. So for the swing, we're gonna use one of our dumbbells if you prefer, we can always use, you know, a free arm as well. But just while in shoulder width apart, <clears throat> we're gonna swing the weight in between our legs and then come up to our shoulder. If you would like to make it a bit harder, we can go in between our legs with that slight dip, like so, when we come down, butt back, and come straight up overhead. So it's up to you, whatever level you feel you're at, up to the shoulder, up overhead. I'll show you both. We're gonna get it going in three, two, one, go. So just want that motion. We want to feel it in our glutes, right? We want to feel that 
motion starting from the bottom, powering up to the glute, holding our core tight. Right, these are all the functional movements. Good. If you need the chair assist, feel free to hold. This is one of those ones that's better on the side. Good. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Rest. Good job. We're going to do the exact same thing, just on the other side. So we make sure everything is nice and balanced and we don't forget any parts of our bodies. Big thing is with that movement is that we're not leaning over, that when we bring the weight in between our legs, we're sitting back, and then using that momentum from our glutes to power up. We're gonna get started in three, two, one, go. So I'll show you the full range on this side. Before I was coming to the shoulder, this one, I will go back and forth here. Feel free to alternate if you choose as well. If you want to go to the shoulder, then one all the way overhead. Just make sure that we are including those legs, propelling ourselves up. A little bit to go. Three, two, one, rest. Good work. Now that one we can kind of feel all over the body, but we're just getting ourselves nice and warm so we can keep it going. We have a straight leg deadlift next. So this one is, when we say straight leg, we don't mean that you have to shoot your knees back. Knees are still soft and athletic, but you're just not hinging quite as much. We're gonna go down. Now, if we're using one weight, one arm on the support, come on down and we're just gonna kind of trace one leg down. Your depth is up to you. If you can go to just above your knee, great. If you can go just below your knee, fantastic. Pick where you feel that kind of stretch in your hamstring, come on up. If you don't need the assist, you have both weights in your hand, same thing. We're gonna trace down and come back up. So up to you and then we'll go for it. Again, we're gonna go twice through anyway, so if you need one, we'll get both sides going. We're going to start in three, two, one, go. Tracing that leg, coming back up. This is a big focus on the hamstrings and the glutes. So if you want to think of kind of the dumbbell meeting your hip. So when you come up, meet in the middle. We don't have a, have a big snap, but we do want to have a nice fluid motion that's as easy as possible on the muscle while it works. Good, five seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Good work. I'm gonna switch sides. Now, if you did both weights and you chose not to have the chair assist, um, we're just gonna do the exact same thing again. So you'll be in the same position. You take this break, then you come down, you're gonna come up. For this one, I'm gonna show you just the right side. Um, and then I'll face the middle a little bit so you can see just how wide my feet are apart, that kind of stuff. But you guys get the idea, and I know that we're doing it together. So we're gonna start in three, two, one, go. Good. About shoulder width apart. And you can see that my knees are still soft and athletic, but even in that position, I can still feel the work in my hamstrings and my glutes. 10 more seconds to work, here we go. Good, three, two, one, rest. Nice work. Okay, so, like I, t like I said, we went through those four exercises. Now we're gonna come back and just add little sprinkles onto them so that they work that much more and then we can move on. Now you're done, you've done it already. What we're moving on to now is a narrow suitcase squat. So feet are gonna be just a little bit inside shoulder width. We're gonna grab the weight, assuming you're using an assist. Now you can be chair in front you could be chair to the side. I'm just gonna go to the side to show you guys. Weight is gonna be outside your leg and we're gonna sink back the same way. Don't need too much depth. This one is more quad focused. Gonna come down nice and controlled. Squeeze our glutes, quads, stand up tall. 
That's all we're doing right there. Assist is there if you need it. If you do not need the assist, feel free to grab that second dumbbell, have both, and we're doing the same movement with both, okay? Let's get started in three, two, one, go. Nice, pushing that butt back, standing up tall. If we're gonna pause anywhere, let's hold at the bottom for a little bit. Let's make sure that we're really working those legs even more. Good. Good. 10 seconds, let's go. Nice. Three, two, one, and rest. Because it's timed, when you find that tempo that works for you, just keep it going. I'll tell you when the time is going, don't worry about anything else. And if I catch you in the middle of one rep, you guys already know what I'm gonna say, you need to finish that rep. That's just how it goes, okay? So we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. I move my support to the right. Weight is gonna be in my left hand. And I'm gonna, just in side shoulder width, narrow up a little bit, push back, doing the same thing. Chest is always tall and proud. We're working the legs, no stress on the lower back, okay? I'm gonna start in three, two, one. Go ahead, good. Push back, make sure you guys switch sides. Good. Nice work. Good. Now your head can look at a point that's just in front of you, as you can see I'm doing. But we want to make sure that chest still stays up. We don't want to round ourselves over. Stay tall and proud. You should be proud. You're doing this workout. Three, two, one, rest. Good work. Okay, we're sticking with the squat theme. So we're going back to that slow tempo squat. This time we are adding a calf raise. So I'll show you here. We're gonna go down into the squat, nice and slow tempo. We come back up, pop onto our toes, contract those calves, come down in a nice controlled manner. When we come back down, that initiates our squat. So we go up, come down, our heels touch, we sink back, use that momentum. Same thing on the way up. As our hips come forward, we use that momentum to get up onto our toes. So it should be a nice fluid motion as much as possible. If you need to break it up, do so, but make sure you challenge yourself. I'll show you side on for this one, okay? I'm gonna get started in three, two, one. Let's go. Think down, up onto our toes, good. Make sure we're holding that for a little bit. We don't just want to bounce up onto our toes real quick. We want to come down, hold that at the top for a little bit. This is controlling our bodies. This is where the strength and the balance come in. 10 seconds, here we go. Good. In three, two, one, rest. Good work. Going right back into those swings. So you remember the other one. Now, the variation for this is really just pushing yourself. So if we went to the shoulder before and we think we can go up overhead this round, great. If it's not possible just because of the way our bodies are right now or any injuries, keep doing what you're doing, but just make sure you're staying true to yourself, completing the movement, okay? I'll start on this side, seeing as it's already set up. So I'm gonna have dumbbell in my left hand you're right if you want to mirror me swing between the legs now when we swing back show you this way push back and then we're coming up with the weight right push back always protecting ourselves use the core as much as possible we're going to get started in three two one go good there it is good again if you feel like you want to come to the shoulder or if you still want to get a raise in, but you just want to come right about chest height, feel free. So those are your, your options there. Shoulder, chest height, straight up overhead and get that extension, that stretch. Three, two, one, rest. Good job. I'll switch sides just as a little bit of a help too. If you're not using the chair assist for this one, 
can grab both your dumbbells, swing in between, and again, same thing. Come up to the shoulder, chest height, or straight up overhead, come back down. When you go straight up overhead with two, make sure that we're not arching our backs too much. We wanna still stay strong, rigid as much as possible, okay? I'll switch this around, and we'll get right into it. Same deal, you guys know the drill. We're gonna go swings, opposite side, and go for it, okay? We're starting in three, two, one, go. Good. Up overhead, you can go to that chest height, or shoulder, okay? You choose where you're at and what you're willing to try, but just make sure you're pushing yourself. Make sure we keep moving together, okay? Good. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Really good work, guys. Going into that straight leg deadlift, one on each side. Same thing as the swings, if you are using the dumbbells without the chair assist, just coming right down in front. I usually go like kind of just below knee level. That's good for me, that's a good stretch. If you're more flexible or less flexible, adjust that. But make sure we're taking care of our lower backs and make sure we're taking care of our hamstrings and our glutes as well, right? We don't want to put ourselves in any danger. Do what your body can do, that's why we're here together. Okay, we're gonna start on this right side. In three, two, one, deadlift. Good. Nice. And again, a good way to keep yourself in check is just tracing that dumbbell, or even if you aren't using a dumbbell, just your hand down your leg. Make sure that everything is in line and it keeps it straight up and down, which is what we want. Good for the body. 10 more seconds. Good. Three, two, one, rest. Good job. Same thing on the other side. But you guys know it's all about balance, so that's what we're here for, okay? Hopefully you guys feel that little bit of a stretch. Each body is different, but we'll know when to take that stop Feel the stretch, come back up, squeezing our glute and our hamstring, okay? So we're gonna move on to the other side. In three, two, one, deadlift. Good, nice and controlled. No need for any snappy movements at all. In control the whole time. Ten seconds. Keep going. Push that flexibility as your body warms up and opens up. Maybe you find that this round is a little bit deeper than when we first did it. That's perfect. Two, one, rest. Good. Very nicely done. Okay, we're gonna do a sumo suitcase squat. Now, for this, we have options. What I recommend is having the weight in the middle of our body if you are using weight. If not, chair assist in the middle. We're gonna have our toes at a 45 outside of the chair. We're gonna sink down. This is gonna work more of the inner part of our legs. So here and straight up. If we are using the weight, dumbbells are in the middle of our body, down straight up. If we're using one, chair assist in the front, one dumbbell in the middle, down, straight up. So I'll go through this for two rounds just in case you are doing the one dumbbell method, but it's a good finisher. This is our last movement of the day, so we may as well make it burn, okay? I'll start with the chair in front. I'll do the no weight version so you guys can see how I interact with the chair, and we'll get going, okay? In three, two, one, Go. So the same principles apply as the other squats. Our toes are just at a slightly different angle, but we're still sitting back, using our glutes to fire up. Only difference is, with the position we're in, we're gonna feel that a little bit more 
on the inner part of our thigh, okay? Got 10 seconds, keep it going. I know it burns, but here with you. Here we go, three, two, one, rest, good. So again, as you remember the different variations that I showed you, if you want to try one, go for it. Just see what your body can handle, always keeping safe. It's your workout, so you have the option to do whatever you want or need to do, okay? I'll show you again without the weight, just so you, I'll show you without the chair as well. Just so you get an idea of how my body's moving, and then you can make your own judgments. Three, two, one, go. Good, straight down and up. Nice job. Good. Good. Go to a depth that's good for you as well. If you need to stop higher at the top, great. If you can push yourself a little bit more, it's fantastic. Just make sure that our knees are still pushed outward. Okay. Three, two, one. Congratulations, that's day one in the books, and I'll see you back here for day two.